Hi, this is Tyler at Alder Audio, and today I'm talking about the durability of our H44. This is a passive ribbon mic, and yet I can blast phantom power on and off on this thing. You can hear that clip. I can blow into it. Plosives. Hard, right against the mic. I can even drop this onto a hard desk. And this mic still sounds fine. Stick around and I'll tell you why. All right, now I just had to go take a look at that clip. And man, that made me cringe watching that mic fall. Um, I've just always been taught to respect ribbon mics so much that uh, watching that mic crash onto the table was just really unnatural. Um, but the mic is right here, and I've actually completely disassembled this mic. I took a look inside, and I see no bowing or bending of the ribbon at all. Uh, I also see no attenuation in the signal. That's what happens when a ribbon stretches out of shape, is that it kind of bows and it goes outside of the core magnetic field in the capsule, and you see an attenuation. Uh, so you'll get less output out of your mic. And this mic is really uh, performing just as it did before that drop. Um, now let me just give you a little disclaimer, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't abuse these mics, you know, I'm sure if I dropped it enough times, eventually it would loosen up. Uh, also, the, the biggest way to kill a ribbon is the port of a kick drum. Uh, I have a, I don't, I've never tried it, but I doubt that it would stand up in that uh, case. Um, but these ribbons are a lot more robust than your common ribbon. And uh, I'd like to explain why. So to start, let's just talk a little bit about the aluminum in a ribbon mic. You can see a little sample here and you can get a sense of how light it is when I blow on it. Uh, the aluminum used for ribbon mics is incredibly fragile. And we can make it thicker um, and it makes the ribbon more robust, but there's a huge drawback in sound quality. So those, those ribbons are out there with the thicker foil in them and things. Um, but that fragile ribbon is really you know desirable for the most important aspect of the mic the sound quality so the challenge is how do we take that really fragile beautiful sensitive aluminum ribbon material and make it as robust as we possibly can and uh, i spent a lot of time with this problem and i designed something completely new we have a patent pending on this aspect of our design and it looks like this you can see on the right is what a standard corrugation might look like, and on the left we have what's in the H44. This is what I call herringbone corrugation. So you can see that the corrugated bends are in two axis uh, in kind of a herringbone pattern all the way up the ribbon. And this adds significant strength to the ribbon element. Um, now what's going on here, I'd like to talk about this a bit, is, uh, is really something kind of common in metal working. So uh, I actually grew up working for the family business. Uh, my dad was an entrepreneur. We had a small US-based manufacturing operation. And um, we worked with a lot of metal. And when you're working with metal frames or something like that, if you wanna take a flat piece of metal and make it uh, stronger, a well, great thing you can do without adding any weight is just put a bend in it. So make it uh, a right angle, like, like this piece you see here. And putting this right angle bend in this piece of metal makes it a lot stronger in this axis and a lot stronger in this axis from bending. But the one thing it doesn't do for you, it doesn't help in this axis. So if you wanted to unbend that 90, it would be just as easy as uh, bending a flat piece of metal. And uh, there's a, a strategy though that you can do to uh, increase the strength in this axis as well without adding weight, and that's to put an additional bend in the part. So a part like that would look like this. Uh, so this part has three kind of notch bends in it in the axis of the first 90. And so if I wanted to try to unbend this part, you know, those three notches would have to be kind of unbent as I unbent the 90, and that makes it a lot harder to bend in this axis. And uh, so this kind of bending technique, it's really common. If you look for it in anything with a metal frame, you'll start to see it places. 
Um, and just the, the strategy of bending in two axis for strength is something that is used commonly. And this technique is essentially the same thing we're using with the herringbone corrugation in the H44. Uh, you have two axis of bends going on, so there's rigidity no matter which plane you're uh, you're looking from. And it really helps the strength of the ribbon. It's why I can drop that mic, and uh, it's fine after the drop. Uh, the biggest way I can show this to you, I think, is inside of the test frame you saw before. We use these for drop tests, but uh, you can see it most obviously with a fan. So uh, I'm going to pull up the frame here, and you can see when I put the fan behind it, uh, you can see the regular corrugated ribbon really bowing out and really, you know, flapping in the wind there. And then the herringbone, it, it bends out some, but it's much more stable and it doesn't deflect nearly as much. It's, it's much more rigid. And these two ribbons are made from the exact same aluminum. They are cut to the exact same length and they are stretched to the same length on the, the frame. And so the only difference between those two ribbons is how they are corrugated. And uh, you can see it there that uh, the herringbone corrugation really adds some rigidity. So I am excited about what this can mean for the use of the H44 and for users to have confidence in using it. I know some people get scared of using ribbon mics and they've got to treat them really, uh, you know, with all this caution. And uh, I think that with the H44, you can really have some confidence in the mic that it's going to be able to handle things pretty well. Um, there are still limits. Don't use it on the port of a kick drum specifically. Um, anything with kind of extreme uh, blasts of air is still good to stay away from. But uh, it's, it's a pretty robust mic. Uh, also, I'll just say if anything ever does happen to your ribbon, our policy is just to repair mics at cost. So at the time of making this video, replacing a ribbon is just $20. Um, so you uh, always have that backing you up. And the last thing I'll say is, uh, you know, if you're not familiar with this mic or our company, um, what we're trying to do at Alder is offer a U.S. made high quality product, but keep the company low overhead and kind of simple and straightforward. And so this mic contains an in-house transformer and high quality components that are more common with like thousand dollar and up microphones. And yet our price is $399. So check out our stuff. AlderAudio.com. Thanks for watching.